Second, this episode focuses on the proclamations of Oba Eware the First, who ruled the Benin Kingdom in the 1400. During his regime as the Oba of Benin, the Great Benin Kingdom experienced the tragic death of his two sons. In order to mourn the death of his two princes, he made some proclamations that restricted the Benin people from having sexual intercourse with their spouses for three years and also eating cooked food in the kingdom. However, these proclamations led to the depopulation of the Benin people. Those who were not able to resist the complexity of the proclamations moved out of the kingdom far away from the reach of the Oba. You are watching the history of Oba Eware the first and the second. Yes, Oba Eware the first. He lost two of his sons the same day. He wept so profusely. When he returned, a decree was passed across that in the space of three years, every Benin man, woman, boy, girl should mourn the sad loss of his sons. Number two, in three years, nobody should brush his or her teeth. In three years, nobody should take his or her bath. In three years, no man, no woman, no husband and wife should uh, have any sexual intercourse oh, with a spouse. That is the toughest one. And then, are you called the Lord? The Lord. You don't, everything must be on the stand still. You don't wash anything. You know, let me put it to us that that cost the Benin Kingdom a lesson. It taught us a lesson. The follow up to that was a resultant migration that led to depopulation. Today in history, the Benin Kingdom is very wealthy, it's very rich, it stands taller than any other empire in the world. But in reality, we have been bust up to the corner of being called minority tribe in Nigeria when we were supposed to be majority tribe. Oba Eware the first. Yeah. What makes him uh, the great? The first proclamation he made when he ascended the throne in 1440 mm. was that this place, this nation, because of what that little boy, Edo, the seventh boy of Ogefa, did to save his life, and because of that singular act of that boy, Chief Ogefa and Oba Uwafioku killed that boy. Not just kill him, they gave him to the dogs to eat. So he needed to pay that boy for that gratitude. For that great thing he did. He was a man who responded to gratitude. So he, re he changed the name of this place from Igodo to Edo. Okay, previously, Edo was called Igodo. Igodo. Igodo, okay. Igodo, okay. Or Ubini. Ubini, mm. that's a name that was given to the nation by uh, Oba Oromia, mm -hmm. the first Oba of the second dynasty, of the okay. Oba dynasty. Okay. Because of that, he changed the name of this land to from, Edo. Uh, from Igodo, Ubini mm -hmm. to Edo. Edo. And then the next proclamation was because of the great things Emutan did for him. History tells us that Emutan died few days before the coronation of Oba Ewai the first. And so he proclaimed that the woman must, will be buried in the very spot where he used to meet her. And again, he planted a tree an Ikimi tree to represent the grave. That tree fell in 1954. And then Oba Akenswa II asked that the Emotan be cast 
in bronze, which we have till today. Few weeks back, Obai Wai the second redecorated the Emotan shrine, the Emotan statue. All these points to the fact that Ewai the first has reincarnated in Ewai the second. So do you mean that it's, uh, it's like he's uh, portraying the legacy of Oba Ewari the first? Yes. What are the similarities? A lot of similarities. Okay. Because a lot of kingdoms, a lot of people left Benin. They left Benin at a particular, in the time of Ewai the first. We have the likes of the Esan people, the Afeme Sako, the Kukuruku people, the Asaba or Nature, uh, uh, some parts of Imo, Imbise, Ingbidi, and all those people. They left Benin in that period. Uh, they now, formed their own kingdoms? They had to form their own kingdom because of what happened at a time. After Oba Ewai lost his two sons, Koboyuwa and Izuare. He made a, a proclamation that no man should sleep with his wife for three years. No man should shave his hair for three years to mourn his two sons. So those who could not stand the aggravations, they ran away. And that is what now brought Iwu, markings of the Benin man. To know those who are real Benin, he now made a proclamation that we'll be having Igu on our bodies. That's Ewai Gidigan. Emi here, Aya Gyoba se gbe wai. I will be mio ban on ye wai wai. Oba atok be ye. Yeah, so by Ewai the first. He lost two of his sons the same day. Kobo Yuwa was the heir apparent to the throne. And his younger brother Izuwara. Both of them died as a result of a heated arguments between them. And so at the battlefield, of course. And so the... Crown Prince took, drank from a cup of poison and died. The other one would not, could not afford to leave. He was subsequently took this, drank from the same cup and died. No one had to go to break this repulsive news to the, no to the Oba. However, uh, the, 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 the tragedy had to be conveyed in a parable that was expressed by Akayon. He put it this way. The rain at Iowa did not get to salute. The rain at Iosilu did not get to Benin. Mm -hmm. In Benin parlance, it was a clear suggestion of a tragedy. And to Chifehama, he got to know that he had lost two of his sons. He went straight into his Ogwa. And when he got there, his secret chamber, when he got there, he wept so profusely. When he returned, a decree was passed across that in the space of three years, every Benin man, woman, boy, girl, should mourn the sad loss of his sons. Number two, in three years, nobody should brush his or her teeth. In three years, nobody should take his or her bath. In three years, no man, no woman, no husband and wife should uh, have any sexual intercourse oh, with a spouse. That is the toughest one. And then, are you called the Lord? The Lord, you don't, everything must be on the standstill. You don't wash anything. You know those days, there's this who called the Lord. You know, our house used to be muddy house. Mm. And then you get some red sand, mm. you put them, put water, mm. add cloth, you know, dip inside, dip the, mm. the cloth, yes. the rag inside the mud, mm. and then you begin to paste on the wall. Mm. It was a beautiful thing mm. those days. Yes, we used it when was, I was young. Oh, we bless that. you. Yeah. That was Ukodolo. Mm. Ukodolo. Are you Kodolo, Dolo? That means, in other words, you don't have to do that as a way of money. But let me put it to us that mm. that cost the Benin Kingdom mm. a lesson. It taught us a lesson. Mm. And what happened was, um, the follow-up to that mm. was a resultant migration that led to depopulation. Today in history, the Benin Kingdom mm. is very wealthy. It's very rich. It stands taller than any other empire in the world. But in reality, we have been bust up to the corner of been called minority tribe in Nigeria when we were supposed to be majority tribe. But I put it to us today, I was a way of reminder that that cost us a lot. Migration came 
That was the time, the period, Ishan people left. They were beneath. If you say, say, I can Okay. That was the time Esako left. Afema, Auchi people, Urubo people, eh, eh, Agbo people, Agbo people, Onicha people. You and part of the East, they were supposed to be beneath. Because the proclamation was oh, they couldn't too keep straight. it. Yes. Too straight for the people. That's right. They couldn't keep it, and so they left. And so they migrated to the present uh, abode. Hmm. And so that led to depopulation. Oh, okay. As a way of putting in checks those that were still on ground, you know what he did? Hmm. He introduced what they call Iwu. Tattoo. Hmm. Was this tattoo drawn? Every man, woman must draw it those days. On their faces, down, big one, not. Not the, the mark that the, those words uh, that cost as a result of sicknesses, the little marks. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about tribal oh, mark. Oh, Beneath tribal mark was so bold and clear, you, so conspicuous, even from the distance you could, you could spot out a Benin person. Mm -hmm. I still I remember my grandmothers from my father and my mother's side. Oh. They had this uh, Iwo on top of the their face, skin. the faces, down the mm -hmm. chest, mm -hmm. down the, the, the tummy. They had all this, mm. those days in the name. I remember my great grandmother had it. I said my grand great grandmother had it, my grandmom had it, and then only my mom didn't have it. Do you think the proclamation was too complex for the people to abide with that led to this mass immigration of people out of the land? Certainly, yes. Um, not taking, not brushing your teeth mm -hmm. for three years not taking your bath for three years, not uh, um, having any sexual intercourse for three years, oh. and you go to Lord Dolo for three years, everything will have to be static for three years. Oh. It was burdensome. Mm -hmm. It was actually, that led to that, oh. the population. Yes. I'm sure if you and I were there, we would have done the same thing. Yeah. But kudos to those that still remained. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why we see how this existing culture. Otherwise, today. they would not have been here anymore mm -hmm. if some did not remain. Mm -hmm. uh, however, mm -hmm. it eventually, all things eventually went together for their own good. Because at the long run, before the distribution of three years, mm -hmm. it had been abolished by the same or by a Y. The vast states that were conquered, he had to conquer by Oba a Y. It was like a warning signal to them. Look, whenever you find people like this, don't let them stay. Take, drive them back. So that they won't leave. They won't leave, yes. Break it up. So wherever they went then, they had to, in fact, those other, uh, 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 whether Nogi or whatever, whether, mm. wherever they were occupying, mm. they would know, ah, these are beneath. Please, you can't stay here. Go back home. Go back. Just mm. go back home, please. Please, we don't want to see you here. Okay, he did that. He did that. So that the woman uh, migrate out identity. of the land. Yes, to prevent them from migrating from the kingdom. He did that. Mm. And so they, they didn't have option then to stay. Because those who had already left, they, they had can't gone. bring them back. No, 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 no. So the only way to prevent others from joining them is to introduce this evil. Yes. Oba Ewai the second. There are things he does with the spirit of a deja vu. Like, he's been there before. He knows how to do this thing. He knows this place. Eh? So, you know that this is something he did before. The last time he brought out a ball to remove the curse of those illegal, uh, those women who traffic in these girls mm. and uh, to put a curse on, the, on those women who forced them into modern day slavery. There was this particular one that had not come, that had not seen the sun for over 600 years. Who? Nobody knew what to do. But as soon as he handled the things, the materials, the ebo, with a deja vu spirit, he knew how to awaken those things. And only those that were there that day can give the testimony. So he is the same man 
He is the same person. Ewai Ogidigan the first is the same man and image as Ewai Ogidigan the second. Yeah. Yeah.